Today is uh, February 14th, it's Sunday. My dad has been home now for two days. He came home on Friday. So how you doing now, Dad? Oh, I'm doing better. I love this place. Yeah. I love being home. Yeah, he, he, he loves being home. And I can sleep good in my bed. Yep, yeah, can sleep good in his bed. I got him, you know, on an exercise routine, and a certain food routine. Um, I, I just want to kind of review the situation that brought him home. Uh, you know, my dad spent 18 days in the hospital, two different hospitals, and they did a fabulous job. Then he was moved into a care center, a rehabilita rehabilitation center. And I believe he was there for 19 days. Um, and unfortunately, that was miserable. The neglect, the abuse, the people, uh, lack of training, uh, not understanding their positions. Um, it, it was just a horrible experience uh, overall. Uh, he, uh, I, I end up pulling him out of there. I end up going there on last Wednesday, and I pulled him out on um, Friday. I, you know, I've been going up there every day, you know, one to three times a day, and it, it was just event after event, concerning events. Uh, it was just a daily thing, him calling me with concerns. Uh, you know, them not wanting to exercise him. Uh, I had to put pressure on him just to get them to start walking him. They were double feeding him. He was had an NG tube for feeding. Uh, so uh, they had him eight days where he was eating three meals a day and on a feeding tube. He's, his stomach swelled up. He was constantly having gas. Uh, he's retaining water in his legs now. All these things, when he left the hospital, uh, he was at a weight of, I believe it was 165 or 167. I weighed you yeah. this morning or yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. And he weighed 195. He almost gained a pound a day at that care center because they were double feeding him there for eight days at the end. And I, and I had to tell them to stop doing that. It, it, it was event after event. It was very disturbing. It was disturbing for me witnessing it, but it was worse for my dad because he was there experiencing it. He was experiencing uh, uh, just an unbelievable situation I believe you had to go through. Mm -hmm. And I think the worst thing about this all is the unfortunate people who are still up there. And the, the other unfortunate event is no one's visiting those people in that care center. I, I'm there every day. My tracks are the only tracks in the snow going to my dad's window because uh, you can't visit them. That's the other thing. There's no accountability in this place now because the people with inside that building cannot have no visitors. Uh, it, my dad was, on, in my opinion, was put in solitary confinement in his room. Uh, like, would, like being in jail. Yeah, like being in jail. He, he had three meals a day they would, and then they shut the door. Uh, they did come, you know, the, they, there was the nurses that came in, there was a physical therapy after I complained about it, but it just was so poorly done. Uh, everything was so poorly done compared to the hospitals. Eight, I was there 18 days with him in the hospital. Uh, I was spending nights in the hospital with him. I was working with night shift nurses, day shift nurses with the doctors, and that was the other problem. They did not want to communicate with the family. They went, didn't want to communicate what his routine is, what his therapy is, what his speech therapy is. I would have to complain to try to get this information from them. Uh, so I pulled him out of there on Friday. Uh, he's been here two days now, and it's already a huge difference in appearance, in his speaking ability, in his walking ability. Uh, his hands are extremely bruised from the, the guys grabbing his hands and pulling him to stand. You never do that with an elderly person. Uh, his CPAC machine, his mask, he has a cut on his nose. They was putting his mask on too tight. Uh, one day a guy didn't want to take him out of bed to, uh, uh, and told him to eat in bed. And my dad says, I can't eat in bed, I can't eat laying down because uh, my throat, I'm on a feeding tube, I gotta be sitting up. Uh, the guy got him out of bed and pushed him into the bread frame and he got cut on his leg. 
So that was a very unfortunate experience for myself, but more for my dad, because he had to deal with it 24 hours a day. Uh, it was horrible. It was, it was, yeah, horrible. <clears throat> and I can only feel for the people who are still there. And, uh, and what even more disturbing is how the families do not visit these people. Not, you know, the, the, no other tracks in the snow going to any other window uh, of people visiting. Uh, it's, I'm, I am ranting because I, I am upset with that experience, but, but here we are now. Things are good. Things are calm. He's on an exercise routine, a walking routine. Uh, he's on a specialized diet. And I took my first shower here. Yeah, gave, gave him a shower yesterday. So that's his first shower for a, quite a long time. Uh, this happened, you know, his, his fall in the shower, what started all this was December 15th. He fractured his spine, he fractured his foot, he broke his toe. Uh, tomorrow will be the 15th of February, so that would be two months. But the progress now, especially getting him home, uh, is day and night. Every day I was going through an agony of, you know, to pull him from there or to readmit him into the hospital because I was threatening him, you know, I'm going to have him readmitted to the hospital because the care here is so poor. Uh, but then when the guy pushed him into the bed and cut his leg, that was it. There's it. I, I, I just started, you know, to everybody, the office, the nurses, the doctor, he's leaving. He needs to leave. I need him out of here. Uh, yeah. But it's it's done. It's a it's a bad memory. Uh, uh, I'll show you a picture of the bruises of his hand, the, the cut on his nose from his mask. He's never in all the years has had a cut on your nose from wearing no. his CPAP mask. I've been a caregiver for seven and a half years now. I've worked with with my mom, with uh, home t uh, care teams, nurses, aides. You know, with my dad, I've worked with nurses at the hospital, uh, but what I experienced at that care center is just a, uh, disturbing, disturbing to say the least. Uh, I will say this, I won't say their name, but I'll tell you it's located in Bountiful, Utah. You, you gotta do your research, you gotta be visiting your loved ones to know what's really going on there. Uh, so where, you know, I, I witnessed enough to say, that's it, I'm pulling him. Uh, well, you know, yeah, bring me home. Bring you home, and, and he is. He's doing. He's doing a hundred percent better just in two days. I now I got to work getting his weight back down because they were double feeding him uh, for eight days, uh, so like six meals a day in a sense you could say, and his water retention in his legs. Um, over there, they wouldn't elevate his legs either. No. That was a big problem too. That was the first day, that was one of my first arguments with him. He had to have his legs elevated, but not once did they elevate his legs after that. Yeah, unless you were in bed no. when you were sleeping. But I'm ranting, I'm sorry, but uh, my dad's home. He's doing good. Yeah, I feel good. He feels good. He just got done playing with his trains. Uh, he's watching his uh, YouTube channels he loves to watch. <laughs> uh, but so it, I appreciate your support. I appreciate your kind words. I appreciate your prayers. My dad does too. Um, this was an experience uh, where uh, the ending is now good. It, 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 it definitely had, it was a bumpy road, but it, it ended, you know, with, yeah. with you being here. and. He's making progress. He's made a lot of progress. Uh, it was the, like the day getting out of bed and changing in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. He's you know he's sleeping very well in the medical bed. We got him. Uh, he's sleeping all night. And so you know uh, we you know we're thankful. We're very thankful. Uh, I know so many people in this world have it so much worse off, uh, even in this country. So I'm thankful, my dad's thankful. Uh, yes, we are. Yeah, for the blessings you, that we have.
I'm back. <laughs> I'm the engineer. <laughs>